What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to the Hero Challenge. In today's episode, it's going to be the final episode of this series. I've covered every piece of hero gear so far, up until this one here, which is Ruin's Hero Body, which requires you to get six kills with a gravity spike six times, or in a single game, six times. Now I've done that five times already, we just have to do it one more time, and I'll be sharing tips and advice live as I play with the gravity spike. So let's hop into a game, and we'll see how we do. All right guys, here we go, we got Aquarium Domination. And uh, it is ground war as well. Now, most people would say that safeguard domination is, or safeguard, safeguard ground war is the best game mode for this. And I generally do agree, but it can be done in several different game modes. Domination is definitely one of them. Uh, just because any game mode where you can get enemies that tend to group up a little bit, you're going to be pretty much set on that. So uh, this one should work. We should be able to do this. Thing with the gravity spikes is they're quite inconsistent. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes you can get six kills with one gravity spike, and then you can go several games with only getting double kills with gravity spikes. So it's it's just the way it is. The stars just kind of have to align sometimes, it feels like, and that's just how it works. So sometimes you're just going to struggle with it, and that's as easy as that. It, it's, I would say, the least skilled, but the most inconsistent out of all the challenges. Um, yeah, basically, that that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, the way that I like to handle it, especially when I'm playing uh, Domination, is I like to go for minimum two kills, and that's all I worry about. It's just two kills, two kills, two kills. Pick off two kills at a time with your with your gravity spike, and you'll be good. Now you might get lucky and get four kills sometimes. You might get three kills sometimes, and that's great. That's always a nice bonus. But you should be able to earn three gravity spikes within a game, especially if you're using overclock and you're you're playing the objective. You're getting some kills. If you can earn three gravity spikes in a game and you pick off double kills every time, then there you go. You've got your six kills in a game. Rather than holding on to your gravity spikes and waiting for that perfect moment to try and get four or five guys all in one, uh, I find it's just it's just better to get uh, two kills at a time, two kills at a time. Because it's a whole lot easier to find just two people grouped up than it is to get four people grouped up. And that's the thing with this challenge too, sometimes your enemies just don't like grouping up. <laughs> it's as simple as that, like, you're looking for that group, you're trying to find that group of guys, and you just they just refuse to group up together. So you just have to pick your moments, basically. Uh, a lot of it comes down to map knowledge as well. Uh, like right now, we know I know that there's a potential for a few enemies to be up in this in this area up here. So right now is a good time. Right there, we got our two kills. I knew there'd be at least two kills there, or I had a very good feeling there'd be at least two people there. And that was a good time to activate it. We've got our two kills with our first gravity spike, and now we just have to do that two more times. Uh, or maybe we'll get four with one. Who knows? We just have to wait for the stars to align. But you'll notice I didn't hang on to that gravity spikes for too long. That was my big downfall when I first started going for this, is I was going for that that big gravity spike every time. I, I would hold on to it for an entire round, and I just couldn't see any big opportunities, so I didn't bother calling it in. And I wasted a ton of, of opportunities for smaller gravity spikes, just trying to go for that one big one. And I just find for a more consistent way to complete this challenge, it's better to just go for it. Uh, and and use it for just a couple kills rather than than wait for that perfect moment to strike Okay, this guy's hiving it up all over by a Ooh, there's a huge group of enemies over here now But I don't think I would have gotten in there even if I had gravity spikes I wouldn't have gotten in there in time to kill all of them Kind of feel like I just stole that kill, but hey Sometimes you just got to borrow some kills from the, the teammates. You're not stealing them. You're just borrowing them, right? Yeah, you're just borrowing them Alright, so it looks like we probably won't get gravity spikes till next round. Oh, the hive is on A. Took one for the team there. I took one for the team. That's alright, we'll save our UAV for next round. It is nice to have a UAV up for this challenge as well, just so you can see where those groups of enemies are. Uh, but it'll be good to have this ready to go for the next round, because then when there's hopefully a lot of people trying to jump on the B flag and stuff at the beginning, uh, there will be good opportunity for that. Now, I hope the enemies aren't leaving. I, I've actually recorded or tried to record a few episodes of this already and we did get ground war safeguard and everything But enemies have been leaving like crazy and there's only like three enemies to kill and they're all over the place spread all over the map So it, it's such an inconsistent challenge. I can't stress that enough and Therefore there's not a ton I can tell you aside from learn those areas where t enemies tend to group up and use it Really quick or use it as soon as you get that first opportunity to get two kills or minimum two kills don't waste your gravity spikes on a single kill. I mean, <coughs> sorry. I mean, sometimes you do go for that double kill, and one of those, one of the guys out of the two gets killed by a teammate immediately as you're coming down, and that's kind of unfortunate. It happens. Uh, situations like that happen. You just have to kind of move on. Um, 
but try to make sure you can get at least two kills. That's that's always the ideal that we try to aim for. So let's call this UAV in. We're going to have some enemies grouping up here. I just don't know. Just trying to keep it on my minimap. Look for a good opportunity, like right now. There we go. We got three with that one. Good opportunity. I saw they were all confined within this building. I thought there was only two, actually. So that third guy kind of surprised me, and that's that's awesome. So I got, I got one little bonus kill there. So now we only need to get one more kill with our gravity spikes, which is easy from here on. Very, very easy. We just have to earn a gravity spike and kill somebody with it. It should be no problem whatsoever. I mean, there are those times where you jump up with a gravity spike and they kill you midway, and that kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? What can you do? Sometimes that's just the way the way the cards are dealt that, that time. One other tip. I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate this uh, later on, so I just wanted to point it out here. I have never heard anybody give this tip, and I discovered this a little while ago. Um, if you have gravity spikes in a room with a ceiling, jump up to the ceiling and then activate your gravity spikes. So jump up till your head hits the ceiling, then hit the gravity spikes. Instead of hitting the gravity spikes when you're on the ground, and it'll cause your character to jump up and then come down, when you do that, you come straight down, and you come straight down extremely quickly, and there's literally no chance for them to kill you while, you have, while you're actually dropping down with your gravity spikes. It's amazing how fast it is. Try it out in-game. If I can, I'll try to demonstrate it, but I can't make any promises here. I don't know when these next gravity spikes are going to be activated. I don't know if they'll all be in a room or something, but just try that out next time you're going for a gravity spike kill and you're inside a small room. Just jump up, hit your head on the ceiling, and just as you do that, activate your gravity spike and just watch how fast you hit the ground. It's incredible. It's it's a super effective strategy for doing that. Let's call this in just to get our enemies hopefully a little bit more under control. I guess we'll just get the A guy then. Just trying to keep our enemies kind of contained. I, I want, I'd like to slay them and just get them so they're all coming off spawn. And there's a guy on B right now. And I just wasted a gravity spike. So now this thing just got a little bit more difficult. Okay. Okay, we can we can earn one more gravity spike this game. Now we're in a rush. I shouldn't have wasted it like that. I just figured that was a free kill, but my teammate killed him right before he hit the ground. Let's see if we can get a capture kill to really uh, boost it up. Oh, wow, they just got a quad. Oh, wow, I'm not paying attention now. I'm looking at the kill feed. Ooh, they're putting hives down. Okay, let's call these in. Hopefully get a couple here. There we go. Got a couple kills there. Just got to get as many kills as possible here. Ooh, my teammate just took that hive. Took a hive for the team there, which is awesome. Okay, okay, okay. We'll pop that down there. I got to get in here and get as many kills as possible so we can get these gravity spikes up soon. I do have overclock, which is nice, so I, I will be able to earn it decently fast. I should, I should be pretty, or I'm pretty confident I will earn another gravity spike. But then again, we are triple capping as well, so this game could end very, very quickly from here on. So I've got to be kind of patient with it. Is there a guy here? There's got to be a guy back here. Yep, calling his gear package in. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, we're good. We've got another gravity spike. This time we just have to make sure we get at least one kill. Maybe I should go for another double kill uh, just to be extra sure. Actually, we're going to flip spawns here right away as soon as we touch that C flag. So here we go. There's our guaranteed kill. I could hear him coming around the corner. There's our six kills with the gravity spike. But you see, I even screwed a gravity spike up, and there's still ample opportunity for for that extra gravity spike. So even if you do screw it up and you only get that one kill when you're going for the doubles or something, you in combination anyways, you should have an opportunity with Overclock to get three to five. Three to five gravity spikes, I would say, is how much opportunity you have, depending on how well you're doing, of course. Like, if you're not doing so great, then probably three. If you're doing pretty good, like I'm doing pretty good, I got four. And, yeah, there won't be an opportunity for another one. And if you're doing insanely well, you'll have five. Alright, looks like just a single kill on that one. And uh, I guess I don't need to show you the rest of the game. So I'll see you guys after the game and we'll have a look to see what it looks like. Alright guys, here we go. Game's over. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. I know it looks pretty good. Hopefully it'll actually load. Alright, there we go. All golden out. And that's actually all of the hero gear now that we've unlocked. If you guys haven't seen the playlist yet, or if you've missed an episode and there's an episode you're interested in seeing, I will leave a link to the playlist down below. I will have every single one of the Hero Gear uh, episodes in there. Big tips with the Gravity Spikes, like I said, just to kind of conclude this. Don't go for that big moment, or at least I don't usually recommend going for that one big moment if you're going for this particular challenge where you're trying to get like five or six all-in-one Gravity Spike. You don't necessarily have to go for that. Just as soon as you get those Gravity Spikes, look for your opportunity to get two kills or three potentially and do it as soon as you see that opportunity arise. When you're inside a building, jump up, hit your head on the roof or the ceiling, and then just activate it. Then you'll come down instantly and get those kills very, very quickly. Pretty much everything I wanted to cover. I really hope you guys enjoyed this series, and I will talk to you guys next time.